Hi guys, my name is Ryan, I'm Supervisor Official Hub at Gloucester, um, and today we will be showing you how to build the Westlake Hercules Barrow. Uh, they've been received in store in the last uh, month or so, and I've uh, seen a lot of comments online saying that they don't know how to build them, and there's no images, there's no instructions, or whatever. So we'll just be running you through how to basically uh, build it. So in front of me, my lovely colleague Ella Evan can show you, we've got the barrow completely and utterly disassembled. Uh, I'd suggest that you do this uh, just so you've got all the parts laid out and you know what to do. Uh, in front of me, we've got the framework for the handle. So we're going to do that bit first because it is the hardest bit to do. Um, so first of all, you have this bar here that's got the, the sort of foam roller part on top. This one's going to be the biggest pain in the backside to do because the straps don't go across the, the foam roller properly. So you have to be, give it a bit of force. So the first thing you do is take off the black screws. So you can actually put it through the handle. So you want to make sure you've got your barrow bag and you've got it like so. So you can see the west leg is clearly from left from uh, the bag's left to right. So you know that's the bottom. So you're just going to feed it through. Like I said, it's not the easiest job in the world. It's quite difficult because they are it's quite bulky. This will probably take you a short while to get done correctly, uh, but as soon as you've done this bit, everything is easy peasy. Obviously, if you are a customer and bought one of these, it can take a while to get it done the first time. But the happy, happy joy, uh, news is that obviously, once you've built this, all you have to do is just take off out the handle and then you can bolt it down. You don't have to worry about taking the front roller out, you don't have to take, worry about taking the other base bar out. You just have to take the whole handle out and then you can just reattach it with two easy screws. So I've done two of the straps just here, so happy days. I wasn't sure I was going to get this far without messing it up or swearing at it. Just got to get this final one on and then we can move on. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to slot in, slot it onto the side handles. One, you've got this little base bar here that's got these two little blacks on the bit, uh, two little black bits on the back, shall I say. Uh, you just need to, again, remove the screws. Said easier than the top bit. It's not as bulky, easier just to slide across, and then you can obviously attach it to the rest of the handle. And pop this black screw in to keep it in place. Now you're probably asking, what about the side bits of the bag? What about that? Because obviously I've put the handles in, put the bars in, but the sides aren't in, so that bag's just going to be floppy as anything. But Happy news is that they are Velcro, so you just need to attach around the bar and Velcro on. Loosen the black screws at the back so you can get the handle in. Just draw this around so you can actually see what 
turn. And then you slot it in. You might need to undo one of the black screws so you can sort of manipulate one of the sides and then tighten back up. And obviously just screw in the black bits at the back. There, you've got the uh, handle on. Now, the next stage we're going to do is the front bit. So, you've got these little extended by just here. Just unscrew the two screws at the front here, which have already been done, and you just slide them in like so. So, I'm going to put mine all the way up because we haven't got a lot of space here, as you can probably see. So, we're just going to make sure this is as small as possible so it's not going to get in anybody's way. Obviously, you can extend it as far as you want. Uh, Regarding, you know, whatever seat box you've got, or whatever luggage you need to carry. A uh, good thing about this one is that it has, and I will speak, speak about it a bit when I get to that part of the uh, barrel. It's got a few arms that can slide out and fit pretty much any of the seat box, which is on the UK market nowadays. So you've got this little frame just here with these screws all over the place. Just notice that's just that wall, so I'm just going to rest on the other hand. This bit just slides on the front. You've got to make sure these two at the bottom are loose so you can fit it on. Like so, and then tighten. And then you've got these four little black bars just here that attach to the sides. So I'm going to put the bottom ones on first. So this one here goes on the right. Again, it does extend out a little bit further, but obviously we've not got a huge amount of space here, so I'm just going to slot these on the side, make sure that they are as tight as possible. And then you've got these two bars here that go on the top. Again, they can extend out to about that far to accompany any seat box, so it will sit comfortably in this front section here. Obviously, you can extend it further out to have it out the front, but I'm just going to put it up as tight as I can so I can have it on display after I finish this. Again, other bar to the side, tighten, and that's done. So, got the main frame just there of the barrel, obviously. You need wheels, so I've got four wheels here, just laid out. I suggest that you work out first how the tyres are supposed to be situated on the barrow. They are they do come in two small boxes. Um, obviously, slot them onto the main frame of the barrow first to see which ones are front and which ones are back. They should be quite narrow together from the front and quite wide apart from the back. So we'll just grab these two here because I know that these two are the back two. So. Obviously, the main bar will sit to tell you which side it's supposed to be. So this one, because it's on the right-hand side of the tyre, is supposed to be the right-hand side of the tyre. Obviously, again, black screws just there. Slot it up. So, and then tighten. And this is obviously the other. Okay, and that's the back wheels on. So now, just the front ones, which I'll just put it up front again. That's the front. Again, black screw at the gates, keep them in place. And there we go. We've got one Westlake Hercules Barrow fully built, ready to action. Obviously, stand them out, have your kit on it, all ready to go. It's discount card price $149.99 with Glad Wars card and retail price. Is $199.99. So if you want to get hold of one, pop into your local fishing republic or go outdoors, see if they got one in stock. It should be available on the website soon. But that's it from me, guys. Thank you very much. Have a good evening.